Hey guys, Half Click up here with a video that I have owed you guys for some time now. And it all started about four months ago when our 2009 Yamaha FZ6R's water pump started to make noise like this. So, why did I wait so long to uh, make this video? Well, I mean, part of me kind of figured nobody really cared, um, which caused the other part of me to basically forget about the idea of uh, taking this thing apart and investigating it, until about two weeks ago, where uh, Juan Martinez dropped a comment on that video, which is right here, by the way, uh, where we actually swapped out water pumps, and uh, he says, have you been able to open the one that you took off? With three question marks. Uh, a little bit of a comment exchange between uh, myself and Juan. And uh, turns out he's kind of facing the same situation. He was kind of in a pinch at the time. He was wanting to know if he should go ahead and just rebuild the thing or replace it with a new one. Ultimately, my advice is just, you know, find the used one. The one I put on, the, on this bike is a uh, off of a 2016. This is a 2009 model, so you're talking about a seven year difference in age of part. So I figured I'd be all right by uh, going with a, a secondhand 2016 model pump, and you would probably have the same success as well. Anyways, now that all that's out of the way, let's crack the thing open and see what we find. Some things to notate. I do not have a bearing puller, okay? So there is a bearing right there that uh, for complete disassembly you have to remove now again i don't have a bearing puller so we're not going to get that far we are going to open the case it's just two bolts to crack this thing open um i don't have a sir clip tool either so i'm going to use some picks and see if i can't get that sir clip off of there so that we can pull the uh impeller shaft which is of course going to be required, I think, in order to determine what exactly has begun to fail. Some things to notate on this pump. You can see the residue that is the coolant that was running through it at the time that began to come out of the weep hole, indicating some sort of internal failure. Um, you'll notice that there's some red fluid there that is Motul oil. Uh, remember kids, uh, there is a direct passageway inside the engine's crankcase uh, where motor oil is used to lubricate this bearing and such things. Alright, so again, it's, uh, it's just two bolts. They are a number eight. There's the uh, O-ring. Speaking of O-rings, so uh, when it comes to either rebuilding your pump or replacing it with a secondhand unit, um, one thing to bear in mind is that all of this, all these little things inside, man, they're all uh, indicated in the, in the service manual that you're supposed to replace them. So, grab it real quick here. See all of this stuff here that says new? These are all the things that you have to replace if you're going to rebuild this thing. Never mind the actual failure point. You're still going to have to get all these little gaskets and stuff and replace those as well. So that's what I'm saying when, you know, that's what I mean when I say that you might as well just uh, pick you up a, a nice low mileage used unit for uh, a few bucks. And by the way, uh, the replacement unit I put in my bike was $40. You can't beat that. Now, real quick, one thing I'm noticing that I had no idea about is that this impeller is plastic. I was under the impression this was metal. Why? Well, because the freaking shaft is metal, <laughs> right? Interesting. So there's some drag to it. Yeah, just some general observations here. There's some drag to it. There's supposed to be. Um, it doesn't feel crunchy. It doesn't feel funny. So the bearing is fine. So according to the uh, service manual, the first thing to do, of course, was to remove the cover. It does mention, as step two, to remove this circlip here. 
Now obviously there's a fair chance that I bend and damage this uh, sir clip. And that's all right because we're not reusing any of this. This is more of an experiment than anything. <laughs> and there it is. Definitely destroyed it getting it off, but it is what it is, guys. All right, so evidently the uh, impeller will come right out oh. <laughs> and it did okay so anyways the uh, the impeller shaft is nice and straight impeller shows no signs of damage so let's see about getting this thing out of there ah here we go yeah I mean obviously everything looks really dirty and worn springs in good functional condition and so according to the service manual this is the oil seal and what's still in there is the water pump seal All of it's really flimsy in here. You can see some cracking in that gasket material. Wow. So this is all the kind of stuff that has to be replaced, obviously, when you rebuild these things. Okay, so looking at the manual this actual assembly here is the water pump seal all of this together was the oil seal from what i can tell the only thing kind of chewed up is this rubber gasket material here playing with the impeller here um i think this might be a plastic sort of maybe ceramic material if I can get it out of here I believe yes yep sure enough guys there's the failure right there see it I'm just now recognizing it that is precisely what that guy found when he uh, disassembled his unit Matter of fact, when I uh, apply pressure, you can see that crack spread. See that? Here she comes. Now we find what went wrong. This is the ceramic washer. Here it is. Well, there's your problem right there. So now we know. So the water pump seal failed, which allowed coolant to get past and weep out the weep hole. And some function of that coolant bypassing this seal was creating the high-pitched squealing sound that I heard. And now we know. And so just like that, our investigation is complete. Um, if you liked the video, smash the like button. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below. So as always, this has been me. That's been you. It's Half Look Up. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace and goodbye.